hello guys and welcome again to my channel uh, this video i am going to make uh, on clonezilla so as uh, you might have heard uh, this name before uh, this is a popular uh, tool used in linux and both in uh, windows operating system to pick up the whole operating system or you can pick up a partition of the operating system so in the case of linux uh, it is very useful uh, the clonezilla live uh, we call it the clonezilla live cd we use we can use that clonezilla live cd to make up the whole system we will now in this tutorial we will uh, see how we can uh, achieve that uh, we will first uh, create a create an image from the system and we will try to back up uh, using that image and also we will try to restore from that the restore the system from that image so first of all uh, let's go and first of all uh, what you have to do is to download the clonezilla live cd or you can uh, just download the trvl uh, live cd that is uh, both clonezilla live and clonezilla server are built in that trvl live cd so i will uh, back to that clonezilla server in a while but first of all we will see how uh, why we will use clonezilla live cd that clonezilla live cd is basically used to create backup images of the systems and restore from that images so first of all we will uh, boot our system this is basically a debian based system operating system linux so this is uh, so first of all we will boot into the system So this is the TRVL live CD. I have provided the download link in the description. You can check that out and download the CD from there. So I am using the that ISO to boot up my system. So let's boot to that TRVL live. So this is the TRVL live. We can go with the default settings or I will go with another settings uh, as default setting is somehow not supported for my CPU so I will go with this area live here now it will boot up to the TRPL live environment So basically what we are going to do is create the backup of this Debian system. So we are going to create an image. So here I will be using my USB pen drive uh, to backup the image. So you can use your own uh, hard disk or any other uh, method. So here we have to type 2. Okay. Now I was saying that you can use any other method like uh, uh, their uh, clonezilla supports SSH backup, uh, server backup or Samba server backup or or you can go with NFS. Uh, those things are I will leave those things for another tutorial video. But in this video I will use my pen USB pen drive uh, to backup the image. So I will show you how to do that. So this is basically the DRBL live uh, system. So here we are gonna first use the uh, clonezilla live. So clonezilla live is basically used to create the backup image and backup. You can also backup. Here you can see device to image backup works with sticks or partitions using images. This is basically going to do create an image file of your system. So you can restore from that image later so and there are also device to device uh, support uh, clone it also supports this device to device so if you wanna back up directly from a device to another device or hard tick so you can use that option now I will go with the first option now it will sell, uh, offer me to select uh, where we can store the image to backup 
so uh, as i already said you can go with the SS, sss server or samba server or nfs server or it also now it is the latest version also supports the aws s3 servers and all so you can check that out i will go with the local device use local device that is hard drive or usb drive i'm gonna use a usb drive okay now it will try to detect my usb drive so as you can see it is tape sdv that is 16 GB of USB device. This is my USB device, and the SD SDA. This is my hard disk that is of also 16 GB. So we'll type Control C out here, and it will look for the partitions uh, of the USB drive and both the hard disk. And this is my SD one that is the USB device partition. Now, so I will select this to mount the image here. So here you can see there is no directory here in my USB drive. So the image file will be uh, created in the slash or in the root directory as there is no directory. Let's see if we can mount that or not. Okay, now the USB device partition has been selected where the backup image will be stored. So I will go with the beginner mode and here it says save local disk and image so this will basically save that uh, disk as an image in my USB drive so it's asking me to give a name for my backup I will write this X as backup okay backup okay this will be fine and now okay it's arc it, it, now it's it will ask you to select the source that uh, the, the system we want to create a backup of so my system will be this is actually a virtual machine environment you can also the procedure is same for if you are actually back, uh, backing up uh, a actual system or server so this process is gonna be same so as this is a virtual uh, vmware machine so it says sda 16 gb vmware virtual s so this is my hard disk so i will select this one as my source that i want to back up so it, it, it this option basically checks uh, the source uh, system and if there is an error it automatically repairs it also i will go with this and yes i will also want to check the image that will be saved so no i will not encrypt the image uh, we actually don't need to do that okay uh, now I'll choose reboot yeah go with this yeah press yes Now the process has started it will basically create the image now and store it in my usb drive so this is going to take some time i'll be back i'll pause the recording and i'll be back when it is done welcome back now uh, as you can see the backup uh, has been completed it has successfully cloned the cd right uh, sorry uh, system so now we'll uh, go back to our uh, system the original system so i will power off this
so i showed you how you can uh, create a clone of your uh, whole system this uh, this was a virtual machine, virtual machine so i showed you how to clone the whole system now if uh, in some point of time if your system crashes uh, for some reason so you can always uh, get the system back to that running level or restore the system using that image now so uh, we'll see how we can do that first of all yeah At first of all, we'll boot into our original system. Okay, now I'm booting into my original Linux, Debian Linux system. and here i will intentionally break the system or me first let me log in to the root account okay i am log in here uh, and i say list the uh, file system over here you can see there are various uh, file systems uh, folders in our in my root directory so uh, here i will intentionally delete the boot but uh, boot directory so that uh, will and then will not be able to boot to the system right so uh, and as you know I have already created the backup image of this system so we will try to backup to, uh, to this uh, working uh, system uh, using that backup image so let's first uh, I will delete this boot directory Make sure you create the backup properly first, uh, or else you can uh, lose the all the uh, lose the boot partition, and you will not be able to put in the system again. So be careful about that. Okay, now we have uh, deleted all the contents of the boot directory and also the boot directory. So there is no content in our boot directory. So let's see what happens if we restart the system. Sorry, sorry. Let's power up the system. Now, if we power on the system, you will see that as we intentionally deleted the uh, boot directory it is not there and we cannot boot in the system so what we are going to gonna do is uh, first of all we will try to recover from uh, recover this system broken system from that yeah from that backup image so here I will select the drbl live cd clone villa drbl yeah. okay we'll boot the system into that so here we are in the drbl from here we are going to restore our system Now let me uh, tell you that that my uh, I have already created the image in my USB drive few minutes back, and I will show you that image in my 
USB drive. So USB drive is not in mounted in my yeah the USB drive is not mounted in my host. So I'll connect connect that USB drive to host and you can see over here. Uh, the backup is created. I have named that backup as backup. Yeah, right. Few minutes back. So this is the backup. I have successfully created this backup, and now we will restore our system using this backup from our USB drive. Okay. So if we go back to this, here I type two. Okay. yeah sometimes it takes too long so here we are again in the drb live uh, we will go to the clonezilla live and try to restore our system from that cd in our usb drive so uh, i will uh, again select this device to image yeah local device yeah press enter yeah so yes, it has detected my USB drive. Yeah, no, it has not detected my USB drive as it is not connected. I have removed it, and now I will connect this again. Now it should detect detect my USB drive here. Yeah, it is now here, and it is of 16 GB of SDP. Yeah, Control C. Yeah, now it will look for the partitions. Yeah, this is the partition I was looking for, that's my USB drive. Now this was the backup image that I was looking for. Uh, I will restore the system using this backup file, okay. Okay, now here we have to, yeah, just press done, enter beginner mode now here this is the important step we have to select previously we select on the save disk now we have to select on the restore disk there as we are going to restore the system from the device now this was the image we have to select it yeah this is the target Yeah, check the image before restoring. Yeah, sure. These green lines indicate that we are successfully restoring the system, and it has already started to restore the system from our image that was saved on our USB drive. So it will take some time. We will wait till then and see if you will be able to boot into our system. As we have already broken our system intentionally and deleted the boot partition and we were no longer able to boot into our system now we will see if we can boot into our system let's see it should not take more than two to three minutes most probably
now actually the this is the actual process before it was just uh, maybe just trying a dry run on a system checking the image file now this is the actual process it is restoring the system Okay, now I think it has successfully restored our system. Now let's uh, restart our guest operating system and see if it has successfully restored our system or not. Well, it was the physical. Okay, now we are back in our system and we are able to log in again and put in into our system. So I showed you how we can successfully restore the system from that image and now I saw I also showed you how to create that image using the clonezilla live. Now in the next part uh, we are gonna see how we can deploy that uh, backup image to several clients or several pieces if you have more than five six pieces or more than 10 20 pieces uh, i will see how to deploy that image using clonezilla server so till then goodbye